competition. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry in advance for the irritation. I just, I just needed that to know. Like, I just. <laughs> okay, um, the first thing I have to ask you is like, running urbanology. You're like, basically, for, okay, for anybody that's like hidden under a rock somewhere, or you're just like, just not in the know of anything. This woman runs one of the biggest, the biggest, honestly, to be like, we have to be realistic. It's the biggest hip hop magazine in all of Canada. And it's, it's a pretty amazing publication, to be honest with you. And like, well, the first question I gotta ask you is when did you, want, when did you know that you wanted to be in the entertainment industry, specifically? Um, the entertainment industry, I don't know, because actually I'm kind of a shy person. <laughs> I want to be kind of behind the scenes. Um, but I always knew that I wanted to write, and I always loved reading magazines and newspapers from like, I think when I was six years old or five years old. So I knew from that point that I want to be involved. And then in terms of actually starting a magazine, that would be when I was in college. College? When you were little and you were reading those magazines, like, was there, was it entertainment or was it like crazy variety? Because I'm one of those crazy variety people. I walk, walk around the Forbes in one hand and XL in the other and it's just like... I've never seen that before. It's true. <laughs> I've never seen that call in my life. Well, I have to give a shout out to my older brother. He's six years older than me and he introduced me to hip hop. Um, and he was like really into magazines so he had things like rap pages the source and then when they came out things like the vibe and double xl mm -hmm. so he would bring them home every month that they came out and i would just take them from him and read them <laughs> and that was like, exciting. Nice little sister. like a true little sister would <laughs> sounds like my older sisters actually <laughs> look at you having bad flashbacks <laughs> I'm kidding. I love I don't you. Want, you don't even want to know how I'm staring at her right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to know. Okay, can we get back to Priya? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just, let's just, all right. <laughs> so, was there any point in your life where you were like, um, maybe I want to be like a doctor? You, you know what I mean? Oh. Like, just, was it always magazines or was there anything else that you tried to pursue? Maybe I want to be an like, astronaut. <laughs> it has no hope. And I'm wondering. I'm, I love you. I love you for the bottom of my heart, but let's get back to Priya. <laughs> well, I think when you're really little sometimes um, it's just natural to want to be things like doctors and lawyers because you That's just hear too. that those are the, <laughs> you know, the careers to strive for and those are careers the that money. parents drive <laughs> yeah. to, like push you towards. First. Um, and then I, w I guess if I wasn't as shy and if I could actually sing then I would have wanted to be a singer. Oh, but I have a beautiful voice. Right? I'm in that club. I'm like the president of that club. If we I could sing. We should have a singing contest right well, now. No. no. <laughs> there are like many listeners left and that's just sad. Yeah. Well, don't, don't, don't tune in for me. You don't even worry. <laughs> but that's kind of like an inner thought. Like I don't think yeah. very many people know that. Now everybody listening Every to the show knows that. <laughs> I got a secret out of her. Guys, feel so, I feel so special. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'll get back to the question. <laughs> He's going to yell at me. Oh, no, okay. Um, before Urbanology was created and the concept was done, was there, like, were you working in regular publications at the time? Were you writing for anybody, or was it, like, in the first thing that you published ever was Urbanology? Oh, I was in. I was studying at Humber College in jur for journalism when we launched the magazine, but at that point I had already been... Um, working like doing a lot of volunteering and interning. I interned at Flow. Yeah. I wrote for like things like the Scarborough Mirror, um, some websites, and um, then I had landed a one-year internship with the Toronto Star. Oh wow! Um, hey, hey. I was at the Star when we launched Urbanology, so I had had experience with other publications as well as the college mm -hmm. publications. Um, the college newspapers and stuff. The, the newspapers, but also we had to do a magazine as part of the curriculum. Yeah. So I was the editor in chief of the oh, wow. their their publication, uh, an arts publication called Green Banana, and it actually went on like wanting to do the magazine at that point in my life. Oh gosh, you're yeah. such an all star. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Like, like, I don't know about all star. I like the name too. I mean, I like that name. <laughs> um, I would feel so, I feel sorry. I hope you don't you have a little sister. That's all. <laughs> No, I don't have a little sister. <laughs> Imagine if she had a little sister and she has to live up to a lady that has urbanology and an award winning magazine. I wouldn't I wouldn't know how that little sister feels. Like, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but speaking of the star internship, like were there any were there any things that you learned from Star that you may have taken to urbanology? 
oh yeah, learned a lot from all of the places that I've ever interned or worked. Um, at the Star, you learn a lot because they need to send the newspaper to print every night at um, 11 o'clock and you have to have your stuff done and there's no if, ands, or buts. Like, I mean, at 11.01, the, the editor's yelling at you <laughs> if you don't have your article. But that type of thing I like because it, it really showed me what the media world is all about. Like, it threw me into the world um, in a very real way. Yeah. So, yeah. So would you say you conduct yourself in a similar manner? If it's 11.01, are you cussing at everybody? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we are not a daily publication, so well, I mean, it's like, a little like bit different. Like the day before, you know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, it could be kind of um, scary <laughs> at certain times. I, I think my... Oh, that's so my, cute. <laughs> oh, I <can> see it. <laughs> it. Um, I think like my business partner who runs a magazine with me could probably attest to that. It could be kind of scary. Sometimes. I would love for you to call in right now. <laughs> I just want the numbers. Where are you right now? The number is <laughs> <laughs> no hold bar. Just you know, say what you want to. <laughs> were there anything like what were some of your learning experiences while you were creating the concept for Openology? Like, were there any trial and errors that you had to do while you were coming up with the concept? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know, there's plenty of trial and errors. We could probably spend the whole hour talking about the trials and errors and there's still trials and errors to this day because I think everything's like a learning process. At the beginning though, there were things like how do we, like I mean, we were a group of young people who just had this vision and wanted to do something, right? We're still in college, um, those, some of us were not in college, um, but they're we're all in our like very early 20s no real experience and no sort of like hard cash to yeah. put towards this so there's lots of trials and errors that we went through from things like how are we going to finance it all the way to like how do you build a team that's effective um that gets things done how do we break into the industry how do we get people to take us seriously we made a lot of mistakes we trusted a lot of people that uh, led us down paths that got us burned so yeah there's lots yeah I'm, I'm just asking because out of curiosity what like what's more of a headache is it the trial and error with the, in terms of the content or is it the trial and error in terms of logos because like logos can make me like I just go hide in a corner somewhere like I don't want to see anybody anymore like when you mean logos, when do you... Like, I'm talking about like, like the graphic design. The graphic, the oh, the layout. Yeah. Okay, well... Anita has absolutely no artistic goal in her body. <laughs> you know what? Have faith, okay? I have faith. Um, Lost it. <laughs> it could be any, all of that, all of the above. It depends um, on the day. When it comes to content, there are some, definitely some really frustrating moments. I mean, like, shout out right now to some of our team is downtown. They've been waiting since 3.30 to do the interview and photo shoot with an artist that was scheduled for 3.30 and due what? to the schedule of that artist being pushed back they're still waiting so oh, no. shout outs to all of them it's who are down like there right shout out yeah guys. still wow. right now it's not shout out to the that. urbanology <laughs> team you guys are troopers that's, yeah that's a that, that's a hustle yeah yeah i, yeah, I yeah. would not be too happy about it. <laughs> with the graphics and stuff there's also the challenges um i think at that point my business partner who does all of the layout he might want to kill somebody when we go back to him 20 times with all of the mistakes and the correction. Yeah. Um, so there's issues on both ends. Um, how did you create the concept for urbanology? Was it like a, a, like, let's hang out in the living room and just brainstorm until we figure it out? Or was it like someone had the plan and then found the team? No. <laughs> um, well, um, basically myself and the my business partner, whose name is Adrian, we created the sort of like the overall concept. Like we knew we wanted to have a magazine, we sat, like we're um, sitting for days and days on end um, to, you know, like in between school and all of that to try to figure out what this would all look like. Then we took that, that sort of really rough sketch mm -hmm. to a team of probably like eight to twelve people from mostly from our neighborhood or people that we knew who would believe in this vision and had similar visions and wanted to see something like this happen mm -hmm. and then from there it sort of unraveled yeah uh, I gotcha um did the initial steps because like <laughs>